So there are actually options when it comes to singing a high pitch, depending on the sound you want to create. Let's talk about these options. Option number one, you want to belt it and sound like chest voice. You can go high and just be strong while being supported. That's really important. So I am here singing high. That is basically a very thick chesty sound. Number two, I can also just transition into a head voice. I can sing higher now. And then I can transition back when I go down the melody line back into chest voice, but the top is in head voice. I can also be in my mix, which is not a register. It just means you're not tilting fully into head voice and you're also not pulling your chest voice way up to where it's too heavy. You're lightening up a little bit on the mechanism of the TA muscles, the thyroid muscles, and starting to kind of, it's almost like you're anticipating going into head voice without fully tilting into it. So here's the mix. I am singing in my mix. Little bit of a different sound each time. When would you want to opt for which one? Well, number one, chest voice, fully heavy is okay as long as it doesn't get too high. If you feel a scratchiness in your throat, too high, too much pressure on your vocal cords. So instead of, I am singing high, if you feel that little bit of scratchiness and you actually hear a rasp that is not intentional going high, you're pulling your chest voice up too much, which is not healthy. It is not so bad if you're just doing it for a short moment, but if you do this a lot, you will damage your voice. So if you still want a nice, strong sound, you may want to just go ahead and tilt into your head voice. However, there are different ways to do it. Your head voice can either be fully tilted with tons of tall pharyngeal space, like which then sounds very classical, which you don't want unless you want to sing opera or classical music. But you can also relax that larynx up just a bit to where it's not, but it's more. Then it's actually possible to get quite soft on the top and control volume and dynamics a bit better. Not just singing high, but also so. Hey everyone, did you know I'm also on Spotify and all the podcasting apps? So if you want to listen on the go, just subscribe to the podcast and you don't have to watch the video. You can just listen and practice whenever you're out and about. I will put the link below and now let's get back to the video. You could also do falsetto, which is only a variation of head voice, same mechanism, but more breathiness and a little bit less intensity. The vocal cords are a bit looser, a little more gap between them. So That is a good option for when you want to sound intimate and emotional and it's all heartfelt, not explosive, but more implosive. And then the mix really is to balance out between the two registers, to not be too heavy in chest voice with that mechanism and not to fully tilt into head voice, which when you do actually want to transition, having that mix in the middle to have a balancing out of the sound is the best option. I could be singing here in my chest voice and then going up into my head voice and having a mix as the bridge. And which option is the best will depend on the song you're singing and the sound you're wanting to create. Each option creates a slightly different sound and timbre. So be mindful. Music is awesome because you have all these different options and possibilities. The sky's the limit. You can create all these colors and be musical with anything you do. And with that, my friends, happy singing. I'll see you next time. Always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing.